All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what's happening in Arizona. All right, so the quote-unquote official results came in. Supposedly, Kerry Lake uh, lost the election. Now, obviously, a lot of Republicans, uh, myself included, believe that there was fraud and cheating involved in this election. And we have ample reason to believe that. You know, there was 30% of the voting machines that went down on election day. Right. And those machines went down in predominantly Republican areas. OK, uh, the voting continued and the, the ballots continued to come in after the close of the election day. Right. But the people now, the people of Arizona are demanding a new election <clears throat> on December 6th. And if they if their demands are not met. They're saying that everybody's going to descend um, onto Arizona from across the nation, right? And 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 demand it, and and, and rightfully so. You know, we have the First Amendment right to uh, assemble for a redress of grievances, um, and and that's you know most likely going to happen because you you can't expect these people to just put the handcuffs on themselves, right? They're not going to agree to this. Okay, because if they agree to this, if fraud is discovered, there's a high probability they're going to get arrested, right, and sent off to, to prison forever for the rest of their life, never, never to see uh, freedom again, right? So, so they're they're going to resist this. You can expect they're going to resist it with that with everything that they have, right? Because they have to, because you know, their life is is you know, uh, their livelihood and their freedom is on the line. So, my two cents on this is that. Uh, you're still uh, part of the theater right now, okay? This is part of the Hegelian dialectic, right? Problem, reaction, solution, right? Problem, fraudulent election. Reaction, they're going to try to get you to demand uh, a new election technology, right? Blockchain-based voter ID. At solution, they already have this system uh, for you. They are This system already exists for you. You know, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, uh, you would have seen me uh, interview Greg Zanetti a few months ago. You know, Greg Zanetti was uh, running for the governor of New Mexico, and he was trying to shill, he was trying to sell uh, the, New Me the people of New Mexico a blockchain-based uh, voting ID, a blockchain-based voting system, right? Now, this blockchain-based voter ID <coughs> wouldn't just be for voting. That's what he said. That came from him, right? He said it would be just like your social security number. You would need this thing to do just about anything. You want to you want to open up a bank account, you need your voter ID. You want to uh, get get a uh, health insurance, you need your voter ID. Uh, you, you know, you want to apply for a job, you need your voter ID. Things like that. Everything your social security number is used for right now, that blockchain-based digital ID would be used for uh, then. And and he and this is a privately owned system is what he said. So, um, no, keep, keep in mind, uh, you know, the, what the World Economic Forum is pushing for right now is a blockchain-based digital ID, okay? Uh, because that will track everything that you do, all right? Every, every, all, your whole goings about, right? Everything you do throughout the day uh, would be monitored and recorded and viewable because of this blockchain uh, ledger, right? Uh, so now every time I make one of these videos about blockchain, uh, voting ID and all this. There's always somebody in the comment section below that shills for it and says that tries that tries to argue with me and talking about how blockchain-based voter ID would be the best thing ever. It's going to save the republic and all this and that. It's the best best thing. It's going to save the world. Okay. Uh, don't listen to that person. They're either they're either a shill for the World Economic Forum or they're just flat out an idiot. Okay. Because this is not just going to be a voter ID. All right. Like I said. And like Greg Zanetti said in the interview, it's not just for voting. It won't just be for voting, okay? But there's always going to be that person in the comment section that tries to say, oh, no, it would be, uh, you, you can't argue with blockchain-based voter, voter system. No, I agree with that. I understand that. But we're not just talking about blockchain-based voting, okay? We're talking about blockchain-based ID. Blockchain-based ID, period, okay? Period. Used for everything. Monitoring everything, all right? Privately owned. We're talking about privately owned blockchain-based ID. 
That's what they're going to try to sell you because of this situation in Arizona. Mark my words, they're going to get their leaders on the blowhorns and try to scream as loud as they can and try to get you, get as many Republicans to follow them as they can. Okay, Greg Zanetti was running as a Republican. All right, the Republicans are going to have a large majority in Congress now. They're going to be able to uh, sponsor bills and try to push them through. And mark my words, this is going to be on one of those bills. All right, because there is billions and billions and billions of dollars behind this that are tr that's trying to push this. All right, the World Economic Forum is trying to push it. The billionaires, multi-billionaires in the World Economic Forum are trying to push this onto the world. Okay, tens of billions, if not trillions, of dollars are being used to push this and to force this onto mankind. We have got to resist this with every fiber of our being. Do not let yourself be deceived into accepting the mark of the beast. All right, The Bible is very clear about the mark of the beast. Anyone who accepts the mark of the beast will burn in hell for eternity. There's no salvation after that. If you, if you accept it, if you accept the mark of the beast, you will burn. You will burn in hell for eternity. Don't just take my word for it, right? Go and read the word of God, Revelations. Go, go read the book of Revelations, okay? <clears throat> it's very clear. It's very clear, all right? This, this blockchain-based voter ID, central bank digital currency, these, these things that they're trying to push onto us right now, violation of the First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution, all right? Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution says, it's very clear, nothing but gold and silver is to be used as uh, currency in the United States, all right? Uh, amendment, first, the First Amendment, you have the right to freedom of religion, right? If you think this is a mark of the beast, you have the right to not accept it, all right? Because it violates, it violates your conscience, it violates your religion, all right? Your religious beliefs. Fourth Amendment, you have the right to be secure in your person's papers and effects from unwarranted searches and seizures, right? This, uh, bit, this, this blockchain based voter ID, if it is, privately owned system and it's Bill Gates privately owned system patent number 2060606 it would monitor your body activity data that is a violation of your person right your body right the data your because the your body data is being seized without a warrant okay so it's a violation of the 4th amendment right there so no if they try to push this onto the american people right it is going to be a flat out assault on the Constitution, on the United States Constitution. It is an attack against the Constitution. It's exactly what it is. And if you swore an oath to defend the Constitution, you are bound by that oath to do just that. Okay? So, anyways, guys, uh, we all know what happened in Arizona. Um, it's, it's not a surprise. We all knew what was going to happen in Arizona. Uh, if you want to go <clears throat> and support the people in Arizona, uh, to demand a new election, you should do that if you want to. You should go, right? But go peacefully, right? Don't give them the optics that they want to make you look like a terrorist, right? Because when they implement or when when they when they push out this new uh, voting ID voting ID system, they're going to want to make you look like a terrorist for not accepting it. Don't don't give them that. Don't give them those optics, right? If you're going to carry, carry concealed. Okay, make sure you have, make sure you have the permits to do that with whatever you know state you're coming from, and whatever state you're going to, right? Don't 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 give them anything. Don't don't give them anything. All right. Anyways, uh, you like this video? Don't forget like, share, comment, subscribe. As always, don't forget help out your neighbors.